for electrochemical cell, one other interesting uh, feature that I want to point out is the concept of so-called active electrode. And for active electrode, in comparison, that would be so-called inert electrode. And we're going to talk about the similarity and difference uh, here. The active, the actual electrode material, which, as we said before, electrode material conduct primarily electrons or electron holes, may or may not be the actual species that are going through the oxidation, which is for anode, or reduction, which is for cathode half cell reaction. Okay, we said the actual electrode material may or may not be the species that are going through oxidation or reduction um, for the electrochemical cell. To give an example, let's still look at our copper zinc essentially battery in copper zinc metal inserted into an uh, electrolyte solution contain containing zinc ion, copper ion, and chlorine ion. Okay, and the two metals are connected through an outside uh, external circuit with certain resistance. Can be infinity if it's open circuit. Okay, and here you would notice we both electrodes are active electrodes. Which means the electrode material is also the substance or the species that going through the uh, electrode reactions or the so-called um, oxidation or reduction half cell reaction. As we mentioned before, for the zinc anode, remember anode is where the oxidation occurs. The zinc metal gives out electron to become zinc ion dissolved into the solution. So zinc electrode participate actively in the so-called anodic or oxidation half cell reaction. And then the electron released by the zinc oxidation or anodic half cell reaction travels through external circuit and goes into the cathode where the reduction happens. And then on this copper cathode, the electron combines with copper ion inside the solution and form copper metal atom that got deposited on the copper electrode surface. Okay, so you see that both zinc and the copper participate actively in the uh, electrode reactions or the anodic and the cathodic half cell reaction. These types of electrode, we call them active electrode. In comparison, as we illustrated earlier, there can be some other electrochemical cells for which we might have so-called inert electrode. And this would be an example. We have also talked about this before. Um, we Now we have two containers are two beakers. In one container, we have zinc metal inserted into a electrolyte solution that contains zinc 2 plus or zinc ion. In the other container, we have a platinum, which is a precious metal, highly chemically stable platinum electrode inserted into an electrolyte solution such as hydrochlor acid solution. And then this hydrochloric acid solution contains proton. And uh, meanwhile, we, people would bubble hydrogen gas, high purity hydrogen gas into the solution continuously to drive out oxygen from the solution and also the hydrogen may go through electrochemical reaction. Okay, for this case, for such an electrochemical cell, we may come across the so-called inert electrode, which means the species that goes through the half cell reaction may not be the electrode material. Okay, here for this electrochemical cell, as we mentioned earlier, on the zinc electrode, 
the zinc metal still goes through the oxidation or the anodic half cell reaction. The zinc metal give out electron to become zinc ion and got dissolved into the solution. And the electron released from such anodic or oxidation reaction go out from zinc metal, travels through external circuit and goes into platinum electrode and on the so-called platinum electrode which is actually cathode because there's no platinum ion in the solution and we continuously bubble hydrogen through the solution well it's an acidic solution which means it has proton so on the platinum cathode the actual reduction or the cathodic rea half cell reaction would be the combination of proton or hydrogen ion with electron to form hydrogen gas H2. While platinum does not change. This platinum remains inert. It does not change valence. The platinum electrode does not change valence. It does not go through oxidation or reduction reaction. It only, read to yourself, provides the conducts electron, allow the conduction of electron into the interface and provide the catalytic interface between uh, the ionic conductor, which is the electrolyte that contains proton, and the electronic conductor, which in this case is just uh, platinum by itself. So this platinum, again, as you see, provides two purposes: conduct the electron and provide the interface between electro electrolyte that conducts ion and the electrode that conducts electron provides that interface to complete the electrochemical half cell reaction. But the actual species in this container, in the container on the right, is not platinum, but proton combined with electron to produce hydrogen gas. Okay, so in this case, the platinum, we call it inert electrode because it does not participate actively in the actual cathodic or reduction reaction in this case. And it is called inert electrode. So now we see the difference between active electrode and inert electrode. The similarity is that they both conduct electron and provide an in interface between Electrolyte that conducts ion and the external circuit that conducts electron. But for active electrode, the electron material itself, copper or zinc, participate in the electrochemical half cell reactions, cathode, anodic or cathodic. But uh, the platinum metals such as platinum or gold, quite often they or graphite, quite often they behave like inert electrode. They do not participate in the active uh, cathodic reduction or anodic oxidation half cell reactions.